If one morning you were to ride in Bertie the bus, you would run down the winding country road with him, cross over stone-walled bridges, and travel past Thomas's branch line. Then you would hear Bertie's friendly greeting as he sees one of his friends pass by. His name is Tom Tipper, the postman. Every day, Tom travels cheerfully around the island of Sodor. He stops at stations collecting letters and parcels from Thomas and Percy's mail trains. Then he delivers the mail to farms and cottages far and wide. The engines know that anywhere their rails won't reach, Tom Tipper will collect their mail and deliver it safely come rain or shine. He's always ready to help load mailbags onto the trains, too. Thank you, Tom, whistles Percy. Yes, indeed, agrees Thomas. You're a really useful postman. Ah, replies Tom, but where would I be without me van? We make a grand pair. One day, Tom wasn't at the platform. A postman they didn't know dumped the bags on the platform and disappeared. What happened to Tom, wondered Percy. And his old van, said the driver. No wonder the new postman looks cross. Trying to carry mailbags on a bicycle would make anyone miserable. Next morning, the engines were glad to see Tom back again. But he looked very sad. The postmaster decided my van was too expensive to run. The rounds take longer on my bike. I'm sorry, I can't stop to help you. I wish I could cheer Tom Tipper up, sighed Percy, the small engine. He was just wondering about how this might be done when his thoughts were rudely interrupted. A man was shouting at Tom Tipper. You've got to come back to Sir Topham Hatt's office. He needs you to sign some important papers right away. Oh dear, replied Tom Tipper. This is going to make me later still. He was in a hurry and being careless. He propped his bike against Percy's mail car and rushed away. Stop, cried Percy, but Tom was out of sight. There was worse to come. Percy's driver hadn't seen the bike and he started away. Oh no, cried Percy, now there'll be trouble. And there was. Percy's driver quickly stopped the train. Everyone came running to the scene. Tom Tipper's bicycle was in pieces. I'm sorry, Mr. Tipper, apologized Percy. Never mind, Percy, said the postman. It wasn't your fault. But now I've only my legs to get the mail delivered. Whatever will happen next? Tom Tipper soon found out. Next day, he was waiting happily for Percy. whistled Percy. Is that a smart new van I see? It is indeed. That accident did me a good turn, Percy. My chief decided a new van would do the job. Much better than another bike and worth the expense. Now I can always be on time again. So I did help, beamed Percy. But by accident, you might say.